All right, let's begin. I will show you how to create your own Minecraft machinima using only free software. If you've seen my machinimas, I use Sony Vegas and Fraps, and I think they're better. But if you you know if you don't want to pay for that software, you can get use the free software that I'm going to show you here. Now, first one uh, for video recording, I use Open Broadcast Software. Now, um, I have mine set to monitor capture because it's recording me right now. But for you, you're going to just capture a scene. So to set that up, yeah, global sources. Okay, I have mine set to monitor capture. For you, you're going to add, and you're going to add game capture, and you'll go ahead and add that in. And that way, it records just your game screen, which would record just your Minecraft screen. Now, after that, um, we need to make sure we have the settings set up for your open broadcast software. I'm just going to click through these one at a time so you can visually see what all my settings are at. Most of these by default are already pretty good and you don't really need to change them. That's what my encoding is. Broadcast settings. Now this I will show you because it is important. I have mine set to .flv. Um, I use FLV files if I'm working with Sony Vegas because for some reason um, when you save these as MP4 files, Sony Vegas just can't access them. So I save them as FLV and then convert them. For you, you're going to save it as an MP4. Click Browse. And right here, you can say by default what your video is going to be. Video, capture, whatever. Usually it's flash video file, but of course you're going to make yours MP4 file. And click Save and then you're going to do the same thing right here. Make sure you name it the exact same as you named up here. So if it's video, then you're going to name yours video as well. And then select MP4. And that will save your videos as MP4 files. Let's go to video. Here you'll choose your video adapter and this is important. Make sure you have your resolution set to whatever it is you're recording. I record all my Minecraft movies at 1280 by 720 so you would change yours to 1280 by 720. Of course I'm not because I'm using this to record still. Um, FPS, I put mine at 60. Most everyone else does 30. Um, for your sake, if you have smaller hard drive space, I would suggest going down to 30, even 24. 24 is the standard frame rate for cinematic movies. This is important too. Make sure you click this box. It's checked. Disable arrow. I promise you it'll save you in the long run. Um, your videos will be a lot smoother and a lot cleaner. Very important to make sure that's selected. Uh, I'm sorry, let me bring that back up again. Let's go down to audio. Don't really need to change anything here. Hotkeys. This is what you will need. Start recording. Stop recording. You will need to choose hotkeys. Um, I would choose F9, F10. I mean, for you guys, it's up to you um, what you want to choose. Advanced, I ha I've never changed anything here. Default's pretty good. And as a matter of fact, for all these other settings, the way it comes default is just fine. So now you've got your open broadcast software ready. Next, I'm going to load up the Technic pack that I use for making my videos, which is, of course, the PhotoRes. 0.91 plus biomes of plenty. Um, if you're searching for it the first time, if you just type in photo, it'll probably be the first one that comes up. Then you'll install it and you'll click play. And we're going to let that load up. Oh, there it is. Okay, wonderful. Well, we're just going to jump right in. Now, oh, this is interesting. Oh, I can see what I was doing last. Now, I use, uh, of course, Camera Studio for filming. So, right away, we're going to go ahead and start filming just a few clips. And suppose I want to start filming right here. Hit P, set another camera, po a camera point. Hit P again. 
I'm actually just going to change the shaders. Let's just turn them off for now. We don't need them. I'm just showing you how to do this. No shaders are smoother anyways. Cam start 40 seconds if I want. If you S is seconds, M is minute. Um, go ahead and hit S 40 seconds. Now as soon as I hit enter I'm going to hit F9. That's going to stop recording. When I want to stop recording I hit F10 because that's the hotkey I selected and it'll stop recording. So right now and boom F9. It's recording. Everything you see me doing is recording. Something to remember is when you're in this view you probably don't want to start hitting things. The mod itself likes to crash but if you go and hit nothing and you're far away from the camera for some, for some reason it won't crash there. I don't know why that's just the way it is. Okay we're doing this and F10. So it actually just stopped recording right now. Cam clear to get rid of the cam uh, camera waypoints. You can even do cam stop if you want. Now we're going to do the next scene. P for waypoint. P for another waypoint. Let's put a third waypoint. Why not? I was right around here. I don't care. Let's do 30 seconds. F9. It's recording. I'm coming up here and I'm saying something awesome to the camera, freaking out, getting ready to do something crazy. I don't know. Who cares? And F10. So that just stopped recording that scene. Okay, I'm clear. And maybe we'll just end the scene right here. Waypoint 1, waypoint 2. Come right on over here. Maybe this one's only 20 seconds long. Cam okay, start and F9. Recording. I come here and say something awesome to the camera and then I walk away doing something on the boat. I don't know who cares. Something amazing. And F10. Stopped recording. Alright, so we just recorded three scenes. When I record, I usually record one scene, put it in the photo video editor, record another scene, put it in the video editor. You can do it the way you want. If you want to record all the scenes and then put it all at once and work on the project at once, that's up to you. So we've recorded those scenes and now I'm going to bring up the free video, video editing software. The name of this software is HitFilm4 Express. Um, I've looked through a number of free video, video editing software and this one by far takes the cake. This is more than twice as good as any other free filmmaking uh, software I've ever seen. So if you don't want to pay for money and you want a free one, this is the one to use and it works on both Windows and Mac. It's pretty pretty awesome actually. So we're gonna go click new to start a new project. Start editing, start compositing, it really doesn't matter. Click either one. Of course you want to make sure those match the 1280 by 720 you saw there. You want to make sure that matches what you're recording, the resolution you're recording in. So right here we've already got our video to it. Video, I cannot speak video editing software and we're going to start importing those scenes we just recorded. Clip import, find those scenes you just recorded which are these, open, it's going to add all those scenes you just had in right there. Composite shot, um, we don't even need that, let's just you know, get rid of that. So here we have the video editor. One scene and by de but just by the way um, things are recorded, usually it's um, in chronological order. And right there we have those three, sh three scenes. And something nice about this viewer um, that puts this ahead of Sony Vegas is it's a lot smoother and a lot cleaner. And this is actually at full resolution as you can see here. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. One, uh, pretty cool. Anyways, we're not going to watch the whole thing. Um, but there you can see you already have your video clips and if you want you can come to this tab effects you can add all these different video effects however you want. Um, now the next part is adding text. When I first got in this program it was confusing to me so I'm going to try to do this as easy as I can for you so it's not confusing to you. All you have to do is click right click anywhere in here you can even click any one of these videos doesn't matter right click new composite shot. Okay, so that we're going to click OK. And that's going to add the composite shot. This is what you're going to use to add your text. Click New Layer. Make sure it's text. 
and click OK. And this is what you're going to work with. It's, it's a layer that's going to be layered over your video. Here you can choose the color, font, size, make it center, all that good stuff. To add text in, come over here, click on this A, now you can start adding your text. Wonderful place. Why not? When you're done, you can click that arrow and you can move it around. Now this actually isn't in your video yet. You've only created it like as if it were another video clip over here. And this one happens to be named Composite Shot 2. And when you're done, you can just exit out of it. No problem. And it's over here. And you can bring it right in. You can shorten it. You can lengthen it. In this case, we want to shorten it. You can come here and you can see it. This, these lines right here, this doesn't show up in your video. This just allows you to move the layer around. So you can place it right here. This is a wonderful place. And supposing you made a spelling error, like I did on purpose, <laughs> all you have to do is double click on the clip. Click the text box. Now you can fix it pretty important, especially if you're me. I make spelling errors in pretty much every movie I make. <laughs> Funny me, oh well. I'm not just having fun anyways. Um, after that's done, you know, and you have that in your video, if you want to add, you know, another video clip or a text box, exact same thing. Right click, new, composite shot, click OK, new layer, text, OK, A, add in your next text. And that is Composite Shot 3. Come back to the editor, drag it in, and there's your next box. Now it's just going crazy saying who knows what. <laughs> Anyways, that's how you add the text. And you can sit there and add your transitions, add your text, add your video effects. There's more stuff that you can do with this than even I know. I don't even know a hundredth yet of what this program to do. That's up for you guys to explore. Um, but after you're done, you can save your project. And I will say this, anytime you're working on a project in any video editor, it's good to periodically be saving your file because you never know when this program will crash. So far as I've used it, um, it I mean, it seems like it can't quite do as much as Sony Vegas, but it seems like it's so much more stable than Sony Vegas. So, I mean, I'd say it's more trustworthy. But still, you know, you just don't want to risk losing all that work you put on your project. Always be hitting that save button. When you're finally done and everything looks just great, you can come over here, click export. Now you're ready to export your film. You can look through here and make sure all these settings are correct. Um, by default, most of the settings will all already be right where you want it. Um, this, this right here t is, means you can upload it directly to YouTube, save it as MP4, Save it as an image sequence, a bunch of pictures, or AVI file. One you're pretty much going to always want to use is MP4. And yeah, just make sure all the settings are correct. The way you're doing it, you're probably going to be 30 or 20, 23.976 NTS, which is a standard frame rate, of course. And you click export, and it'll export your video, and you'll be done. And you have your video, and you're ready to upload it. I guess one thing I did forget. I think I forgot to show you um, how to add music. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, you can add different tracks. Right click here and it adds different video tracks. Right click here, insert audio track. Maybe I better just go ahead and import an audio track in real quick just to show you. Click, drag, you can move it around. This line right here, louder, quieter. I'm putting it right here. Drag it to the beginning, click play. Anyways, that is how to make your own Minecraft machinima using only free software. Um, the link or the description below will have more information about the software you, where you can get it. And as you guys ask questions, I can update the description with more information. And if you have any questions about 
this video editing software, you're more than welcome to ask them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys make some pretty darn awesome machinimas.